Jonathan, why are you running with that coffee? I've been training. Training to work at a coffee shop? No, I'm training for the coffee run. On Friday, May 30th at 8 a.m., I'll be leaving Mother Fools and running from coffee shop to coffee shop, uh, trying to make it to WRT before 9 a.m. when my show ends. And what kind of a maniac runs from I, coffee shop to coffee shop? I run from coffee shop to coffee shop to raise money for WORT because it's a pledge drive. And we'll be running from Mother Fools to Ground Zero to Java S Cafe to Michelangelo saying Horan Gorum, Electric Earth, and bringing it all back home before 9 a.m. at WORT. Who's we? We? Well, I'm running with the Gomers, and I have a didgeridoo player who's running with, while well, he plays the didgeridoo, Noah Ansford Ewan, and Truly Remarkable Loon will be juggling as he runs. And all, lots more people are running with me. If you want to join the Caffeinated Posse, or pledge to WRT or sponsor the Caffeinated Posse, call 256-2001, or tune in May 30th to the Friday 8 o'clock buzz. All right, this is the uh, Friday 8 o'clock buzz, and I'm getting my hat on because we're going, getting ready to go for a run. We have, how many people do we have here, about? Uh, they're running. I think we have like 15 people here, I bet. I don't know if this guy's fine. Are you running here? Just no, getting up. You have to run now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to join us, it's still time to stop in at Mother Pools, and we'll be running. You just heard that announcement. We'll be running uh, all the way through six curious coffee shops here and going to WRT. So we go from Mother Fools to Ground Zero to Java S Cafe to Michelangelo's to Ancora Angorum to Electric Earth Cafe to WRT. And uh, we're raising money here. This is the very beginning of the summer pledge drive, so call 256-2001. With your calls, you can call right now. You can pledge to support us per coffee shop we visit, or you can just pledge and you know talk, talk about what uh, premiums are available there. But uh, we hope you'll support us here. So good morning. Who, who can hear me now? Let me check in with everybody. Um, Nancy, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, good. And you're sitting you're sitting with Martin over there in the studio, right? Yes, we're both here. Okay, and let's sync up our watches. What time do you have there? Um, the official work clock has 8.02, and at the mark, it'll be 8.02 with 10 seconds. Beep. Okay, good. Okay, so I'm, uh, that's good. We're right on schedule. We need to leave here about 8.03. All right, so uh, I think uh, we have no further business to do here, right? We can go to, uh, let's, let's go to uh, the Coma Savants here, Joey and Stephanie. You hear a little bit from them. You know, you're going to hear the difference as everybody plays. We're going to be picking up performers at various places. So uh, you'll hear what they sound like when they're in the coffee shop playing, and then you'll hear what they sound like while they're running, because every musician, every performer needs to play at least some time while they are running. So, you know, so anybody that took the challenge here is really an amazing musician. Here they go, not running. on the bike path, yeah. so I'd love doing that. Okay, good. I'm giving a year's notice on that. And my last question is, why do they call it running for office? And what does it have in common with that, that metaphor with you know what we're doing today, running? And, and which is harder? Oh, definitely, um, what you're doing is harder. <laughs> you That's know? Politic, isn't it? Yes. 
I think running for office because you know, what you're doing is you're, as, as you run for office is you're asking people to have confidence and trust that you can help solve problems for a community. So you're, you're really running to see if you can earn that confidence. And I think maybe that's where that came from. But you're running here now up the hill to the square is even this is, the, you're right, this is the hardest <laughs> lag that we have ahead of us. It's probably while we're stalling here and getting behind schedule. But the last piece, I guess, is you know speaking of confidence and asking people to support you. Uh, can, can you tell, give people a little push to, towards calling 256-2001? I thank Ward for what it does to bring a voice and education and leadership in our community so we can solve problems together. Okay, well, thank you so much, Kathleen, for being a part of that. I hope it weighs a lot of money. Oh, great. Okay, call 256-2001. Thanks. All right, so let's move through here and out the back door because uh, we've, uh, we've just got completed our interview and we have places to go. Um, it is 8.15, so you probably do have to make up some time. You call 256-2001 and uh, we will be successful. Let's hand the phone over to Jim Broskowitz now, my uh, personal trainer. I like saying that. Hi, Jim. Hi, how you doing, John? Okay, now we also have... We have the advantage here of running right behind Ed Hickey, so I'm going to ask you to critique his run. Can you say anything critical about this uh, Olympic time trials guy? Can you, can you find anything to, that he can improve on there? Well, uh, Ed is uh, Ed's kind of a meat and potatoes <laughs> runner. He, uh, he's very tough. He always said that his success was uh, due to the fact that he worked hard, not because he was particularly so, uh, Olympic runners don't have to deal with these cell phones. This is a lot harder. Please call 256-2001 and support the WRT pledge drive. As we go off the hill, we need your support. Uh, yeah, support your support your work, caffeinated posse. Well, and just to support WRT, I think we'll take the short way around, guys. Let's go up, uh, let's cheat a little and go off on the inside ring of the Capitol. We're right up there in the Capitol. We're running in front of traffic willy-nilly. Okay, and okay. it is 822. You are slightly behind schedule. All right, we're a little bit behind schedule. We're going to have to, uh, they're saying we're going through. Okay, he's the pace setter. I think he is taking us through the Capitol. You're going through the Capitol. The 8 o'clock Buzz Coffee Posse is going through the Capitol. All right. So we may lose you a little bit on uh, reception here as we go through, or during the strip search that is likely to ensue. One very important reason to pledge WRT is because Michael Powell, son of Colin Powell, is working almost as tirelessly as we are as we run here to... Uh, Consolidate media, WRT, is becoming only more and more important, uh, especially if this legislation goes through for media consolidation. Oh, hey, yeah, hey, guys, you passed it. It's right over there. We didn't quite pass it yet. So I'm going to do something just slightly naughty here and run across the lawn. We made it through there with surprisingly little uh, challenge. No challenge, I'd say. So I think somebody waved. All right, we're coming up on uh, crossing uh, this one here. And here we are, it's Chavez to say. Hey! Waving to the bikers. Saying hello to the coffee room. Here we go, and around a little. Now, a truly remarkable loon. Oh, there he is, he's in the window. Sitting there looking uh, quite calm. Not at all frightened. Hi, Jonathan. Hey, loon, thanks for joining us. Oh my god, you've upped the ante. You have roller skates on. Hey, you know, I'm truly a remarkable loon. I can't just run. Cool. It'd be too easy. Run and juggle, that's too easy. Now, people may be thinking, uh, you know, oh, Jonathan just makes stuff up, but that is, that's not the way. Everything has to be completely authentic. Loon truly does have uh, roller skates on. The old kind, not roller blades, roller skates, which look cooler, with purple laces, of course, decked out completely in purple, and with some juggling clubs, because I know the difference, right, is when they hit you in the head, they're clubs, and when they're, they're pins otherwise, if you're yes, successful, when you, yeah, when you catch awesome. them successfully, they're pins. Yeah. yeah, so you're likely to hit yourself in the head, I'm guessing, today. Well, I put extra gel in the hair, though, so that it would be some more additional protection. Okay, yes, yeah, so your hair is standing up nicely. And, of course, we're video documenting this whole thing, too, so, uh, you know, you will be able to see this eventually. So, you ready, Loon? All right. I was born ready. He's, he's ready for anything. 256-2001. Can we go out the back door here? Now, if you're looking for us. Uh, is it out this way? Yeah. All right. Make a little noise here. Okay. Now we're out in the lobby. And heading for the... Here comes. Okay. Actually... Stairs, that's just too much. No stairs, right. Thank you. Okay. Don't worry, they're harmless unless they hit you. <laughs> okay, hey, it's looking pretty good there. Yeah, okay, now can we take it on the road? Uh, you think you can do that while you move? Alright, okay, we're taking it down the street. 
the, the Patsy's getting a little ahead of me. They're all going into to, uh, Mike Michelangelo's, which are approaching in front of the Children's Museum now, and leading up to see if there are any throngs in the window. The throngs seem to be delayed somewhere. But some of the people working at the Children's Museum, like Kia Carla and our Indian Bishop, and they are inside here. So, Loon, you made it! I made it! You made it! You were doubtful. I don't know if you noticed, but I ran out of deodorant. You ran out of I wore this very special scratch and sniff shirt. You got a scratch and sniff shirt on? Expecting us? We got the coffee ready? Good, okay. Um, does anybody like, oh here it is. There's coffee's being poured as we speak and it looks so good. It's got that nice oily bubbly look to it. In fact, that one there looks great. And uh, okay, so we should have a didgeridoo player here, but I don't see one. Huh. Does anybody here play the didgeridoo? Anybody have to bring one with them by any chance? Well, he's hiding. Oh no, no, he's not. That's Kia. Hey, I'm just telling you. We got a mimic. My apologies to the didgeridoo player. Uh, I think the didgeridoo player owes us an apology. I don't know about that. I have to say, Ward volunteers are in better shape than I, than I thought they might be. Nobody's complained. I don't think we lost anybody along the way. We're just holding up quite nicely. Okay, Tracy Doreen is in the lead right now with a hula hoop, but it's anybody's race at this point. Okay, 8.45. We're, we're a little behind, but I think we're going to make it there by 9 o'clock. And uh, I hope that's reason enough for people to call in at 256-2001. This guy's not getting out of his driveway for a while. <laughs> All right. All right, run around him. Yep. You can do that. Please let the phone answers know that uh, you saw us running and stuff to make a pledge. Yeah, finally. Oh, my. There's a big group here. We are at Electric Group Cafe. There's Norm. He pulled in the door. He got here before us. That's why we didn't see him. Okay, let's listen a little bit to the jam between the Goldmans and the Amphibians. Okay, something momentous has happened here. Something truly amazing and inspiring has happened. We lost our standing bass player. You know, the standing bass is the big one that's about six feet 
and we lost him momentarily. Forgot to get him on the air immediately. I didn't expect him to run all this way. He miraculously showed up running with his standing base. And he joins the jam now. It's just amazing. It's a kind of miracle that has really inspired you to call 256-2001 to make a pledge. Let's see if we can get some of that on here. Jonathan doing? Climbing up the tower here, oh. the back. <laughs> He's climbing up the relay tower, up the back. Oh no. Jonathan Zeroff is now at the second story tower on the tower. He's over the Okay, now, are you still there? People? Yep, still, still here. Tea? Yes, People we are. Go. Yes, okay. I'm doing my victory dance on top of your heads now. You on the roof. Over, I can hear you, Jonathan. Can you hear me? Does this sound a little different now? I'm like, we made it here about uh, two minutes later than scheduled, but we had a trip to the Badger Bus Depot and up on the roof of the station. But here I am at the mic. I don't think there was any vomiting, so that extra $10 pledge should be good. Uh, and so please, uh, we're, we're just here to wrap it up now and tell you we've been successful. We made it to every coffee shop that we meant to. We have a number of people to thank, but we certainly want you to call 256-2001. So they are still out there having a party. If you'd like to come into uh, WRT, that's a great way to drop off every pledge. You can join our sweaty party here. Run on in. I'm glad you people enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, please call us. It's not too late. we got a couple minutes here at 256-2001. That's right. Chris Powers is waiting in the wings, and we know he doesn't like his show to start late because he gets a little crabby then, and he's got to raise some big money today. So call in right now, 256-2001. Had a lot of pledges of support this morning. This is a really wild morning on all ends of all microphones. And uh, and we'd like to hear from you, too. Please call and uh, let us know what you think, 256-2001. You'll be sitting down next time, oh, right? I'll be sitting. I won't be stripping. I won't be uh, interviewing 72 people. I won't be running. 
we only do that you know on these special occasions so again it's a special occasion because we're trying to get people to call in and support us the other days we're sim- we're putting out for you okay let's bring everybody in for the fun alley here okay bring them all in into this little studio here open the door bring right, in the drummers on in. bring we've on the studio players bring we've on the rigged violin players we've got wild and crazy wigs all we right t-shirts Okay, and thanks, Martine, for holding it all together here and all the WRT staff. Norm I really off. wanted to run, but I took one for the team. Yeah, you'll, you'll look better for not running, probably. Okay, you can make a little more noise than that. Eddie Wallman, Johnny Come Lately, in his who garb from the Gomez. Get out in here. we got about uh, 30 seconds left. Get them all in here. Make some noise. All right, make some noise. FM, Madison, Wisconsin. should advise us on how to turn in pledge forms. I'd love to get an estimate of what we did here. It'd be really exciting. Oh my god, we had a brief housing costs. Hey, where's my coffee? Oh, it's back there. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, you all. Wages yeah, for Housing cost. Fair market So, 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 uh, so, so, uh, so, 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 so,